Keira Knightley and Sienna Miller are two of Britain's biggest, most talked about stars. If either were at the opening of an envelope, it would draw a crowd. But put them together at the London premiere of their new film, The Edge of Love, and there's a genuine media frenzy. Kira and Sienna play two feisty, free-spirited women who are connected by the brilliant, charismatic poet Dylan Thomas, who loves them both. In spite of this, the two women become close friends. I can't do this for a long time. I'm here, aren't I? Well, I think the film is very definitely a four-hander, and it's been fascinating people who, who see certain characters or certain relationships as more important than the other. You know, definitely part of the film is the relationship between two women, the friendship between two women, but, you know, there's also there's two couples, there's a friendship between Dylan Thomas and my character, so I think it, it's, it's about relationships as a whole as opposed to one specific kind of friendship. One of the main things, of course, was the relationship between yourself and Kieran Knightley on screen. Did that kind of mirror itself in real life as well? What, are you talking about the baths? If you like. <laughs> yeah, I know where you're going. No, I mean, we get on really well. It's, it's obvious. I don't think you can fake the warmth that, that you feel from watching that. And it's kind of a chemistry that you meet. You know when you meet someone and you get along. And we always got along really well. So, um, yeah, in a way, I mean, not as tempestuous and not as feisty and not certainly not the situation that the characters were in the film, but the love, yeah, I had to with that. How much pressure did you feel playing the role of Dylan Thomas, a Welsh icon? In, enormous. I mean, you've said it yourself. It, the, well, the words Welsh and icon aren't often used in the same sentence. You know, there aren't that many Welsh icons, certainly not literary icons. And I think, you know, so to take on that responsibility I, was something I, did, I took very seriously, but it did instill me with an enormous amount of fear. Most of the film was shot in Wales, Dylan Thomas's home, and the country plays a key role in the movie. We were in West Wales the whole time and it was very beautiful with beautiful sort of forests of bluebells and stuff like that. It was idyllic. Would you go back there for pleasure? I've already been back there for pleasure. It was a, it was it really was the dream job to sort of to go home to Wales over the summer, you know, to to play the part that I was, you know, so fortunate enough to play to the the script we were given and the cast we were, you know, working with. It really ticked every box. Well, two of the characters are Welsh, so their, their Celtic souls are part of the film. Um, the countryside of Wales is part of the film, and of course Wales is the whole inspiration for Dylan Thomas's poetry. Wales and love. So, so it, it's an integral part. You couldn't, couldn't have Dylan Thomas without Wales. Kira always seems to be learning new skills for her films, be it football in Bend It Like Beckham or sword fighting for pirates in the Caribbean. And in this film, she had to do all of her own singing. I'd actually gone into a studio and recorded all the songs beforehand, so I thought I'd just be miming on set. And John Mabry, the director, came to me on the day that we were shooting and said, no, actually, you're going to be doing it live in front of about 160 or 200 people. And... I, di I nearly died, my legs buckled, I sounded like a pubescent boy for the first couple of takes and then somebody very kindly gave me a couple of shots of vodka and I was alright after that. So would you go and pop idle? No, I don't think so. <laughs> the movie, which is by no means a biopic in the traditional vein, was written by Kira Knightley's mum, Sharman MacDonald. Are, are you pleased with the finished article? I'm absolutely delighted with it. It's it's a gorgeous film. It's quite dark, but when it gets to Wales, the whole the light of Wales shines upon it. <laughs> And how tough was it writing for your daughter? Ah, it was remarkably easy writing for my daughter. She just wouldn't play the part that I'd written for her. <laughs> it opens nationwide on June the 27th, and with some of the country's biggest and brightest stars involved in the project, hopes of success are high. Just dance. <laughs>